know, he uh, he wanted to practice today, but it's one of the things when we just came down and looked at it is, uh, you know, we'll give the guys a couple of days off next week. Didn't want to have a setback. You know, he's a guy that's important to us for down the stretch. So uh, Ivan and myself, um, we just told him to hold back. Corey, is it a game where maybe if you were playing uh, Calgary or BC, he would be out there, but you can afford to give him time off because it is a Winnipeg? I think if it was uh, a game where we needed to get in the playoffs or something like that, the magnitude of the game, not not so much who the team is we're playing, but what was the magnitude of the game. And, uh, you know, like I said, right now we still have a lot of games left, and he's a guy that we're going to need down the stretch. We don't need him uh, limping as we go where we want to go. Is that why you're keeping, uh, it looks like Jackson can stay on the roster because he gives you a returner and a backup defensive back a little bit? Yeah, right now at this point, uh, you know, because there's some things, like I said, we got, we got a lot of shuffling going on in the roster. So uh, for us to be covered in a number of different places, we'll just uh, maintain status quo until we get a lot of these guys healthy and know exactly where they can fit. Dwight is one of your top cover guys, man to man. Where does Terrell Mays and Carlos Thomas come there? You know what? Um, I tell you, each one of those guys have a different ability, uh, you know, uh, D.A. Is, 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 you know, a pretty good player as far as uh, coverage. T. Mays has probably the best footwork out of all of them, and uh, Carlos is be probably the best communicator out of all of them. Uh, but at the end of the day, like I said, they're, they're guys that, um, you know, they get the job done for us. Carlos hasn't played in a long time. Should he expect maybe Winnipeg to focus on him early? Yeah, well, you know, I'll tell you what, one thing about Carlos. Like I said, uh, he's a very smart guy, you know, and like everyone, he'll have a drop in coverage every now and again. But, you know, they may go after him, but I think um, he had a pretty good practice this week. He had two interceptions, and I think that, you know, he'll do what he needs to do to uh, um, make sure that he's not on TSN. Does it matter that you guys uh, basically controlled them in the second half as far as momentum goes going into this one, or do you just see it we're back at zeros and let's play? Oh, it's back at zero. Like I told the guys today, you know, we're playing the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, and they are a new team again. You know, they're making additions uh, to their roster, and we make some changes also. Uh, you're playing in a new venue. Uh, I wish it, momentum was something that you can carry over, then we'd carry it over, but it's a whole new game. When you looked at Justin Goldson's film this week again going into this one, how where do you see his career going? Is he blossoming into someone who can do some damage in this league or not? Well, you know, I think uh, when you look at it, you know, just getting experience is always the key. You know, and like I say, he did some good things uh, versus us. And, you know, early he probably did some. I think it's, it's what system, if he gets in the right system with the right coordinator, the right quarterbacks, coach, and all that, he has the tools and the ability to uh, be a good player in this league. Uh, is he going to be an elite player in this league? I can't tell you that. Only time would tell. I mean, Ferry wasn't out there today. Like... Oh, it's getting to vet day status now. <laughs> no, uh, Diamond was a guy. He had a leg injury in practice, and those guys, like I said, uh, they're, they're hungry. They want to practice, and they're practicing at full speed. Uh, but we have to be very cautious, and we have to be very smart about, you know, the stretch. So we got to make sure that the guys get treatment. Is there an update on Greg Newman? Uh, same thing. You know, it was a deal where uh, he had a little bump and bruise. I, I think. Um, during the uh, the game or whatever, whether his neck or whatever, shoulder a little bit sore there. So same thing. Those guys are locked up in the training room in there. This upcoming final nine, because Winnipeg and BC are right there. You have a nine and one record, but how much does it still have to be harped on to stay with the zero zero attitude? I love that we're nine and one. All right, or thank you. No, there. no, you said it. <laughs> you said it. Jamie and I said it. He messed up. No, <laughs> no, you said it. And I was like, are we? Uh, no, I, I like the uh, fourth thought of that. I don't even know what your question is now. I'm so excited about going 9-1. and one. <laughs> No, you know, in, in saying that, you know, uh, we aim to be 1-0 and this week. And like I said, uh, the biggest thing is we're in the second nine. We looked at the big picture, but we're trying to make sure we close that focus back in uh, each week back to the 0-0, o trying to go 1-0. and do you expect Cash Smith to be leading you in touchdowns at this point in the season? Touchdowns? Is he? Yes. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, you know, Taj is a guy we talked last year, um, and I think he was, you know, we talked about uh, if he'd have played so many games, maybe he'd have had a better season because he's moved in the right direction. Um, we've thrown a couple of deep balls to him, and they've come up big for him. So uh, did I expect it? No, I, I really didn't think either way on it, but I knew that he'd have some good yardage for us and be a part of what we're doing. You knew that Golds was going to play, so at least you're preparing for the same quarterback this week, but they're continuously adding new guys. Sims Walker's apparently supposed to play. How do you prepare for a team that's constantly making changes? Well, we have to constantly uh, be ready for those changes. Like I said, we'll go in with a game plan. You know, like I said, uh, Chad Simpson may be out, a couple of different guys, you know, right before the game. We'll make sure that what they line up in, 
uh, you know, pre-game is what we have settled. And like I said, we have a couple of different things that we said we might be able to do based on what they do. So uh, it's an advantage. Like I said, once again, they have the advantage coming into the first half of the game. We just have to be smart in the first half and control them. And then the second half, uh, make sure that we get a beat on what they're doing and lock them down. The stats of John Chick are starting to show up. Uh, how dominant has he been for the first time? Well, you know, uh, the thing about it, if they um, – measured pressures and things of that sort and effort, John Chick would be right up there at the top. You know, he's a phenomenal player when it comes to effort. Uh, the numbers are starting to rack up in his favor, and that's good. And I think, like, that's just him. He continually goes, and I think by the year's end, hopefully he gets exactly where he wants to be in terms of personal goals.